Now for a tasty treat. That's a little cheesy. Mouse, treat. All right, so because this is a mouse treat, we are gonna start with cheese. This is cream cheese. And, uh, you know, I'm, I usually leave it out to get soft. I never have that kind of patience. Uh, you can leave it out to get soft. It'll take a few hours. It helps if you unwrap it like this. Uh, but I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And I'm gonna beat the crap out of it. And it goes. And then I'm gonna beat the crap out of it with my favorite spatula. Now this will take a little bit of elbow grease, but it beats waiting. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until it's nice and soft. All right. So after about five minutes of serious whipping, we have soft cream cheese. Great. Gonna add a little bit of sugar. A little bit of salt, just a pinch. And a little bit of lemon juice. Now I'm gonna switch from my spatula to a whisk, because I really wanna get this stuff in there. Almost forgot you want a tiny bit of vanilla, just a dash. But when you're done, you'll have cream that looks sort of like this. All right. Like I've said before, when I'm dealing with small amounts of cream, I just whip it by hand, but you can use a stand mixer too. If you want stiff peaks. All right, looks like stiff peaks. You don't want to over whip them, otherwise you'll get butter. All right, back to the spatula. I'm gonna take about, oh, a third of this cream. And I'm gonna add it directly into the cream cheese just to lighten it up. Fold, fold, then in goes another third. Fold, we don't wanna deflate this. Just like making a mousse, which is essentially what this is. And the final third. Now, you really wanna scrape every inch of your cream in the bowl, especially around the sides. Don't wanna waste any of that. And fold. Right, so we got a nice base to work with and we're gonna divide it by two which is easily done if you just uh, spread your your whole uh, mixture into an even layer and then just kind of slice it down the middle and there you go and we're gonna put the other half of this delicious thing back into the other bowl that we had all right and this bowl is gonna get raspberry jam. I strained it, uh, no seeds, you can leave the seeds in, but I'm after a pretty perfect pristine dessert, so I strained them out. And then, like before, you're gonna fold it in. All right, that's good for me. Right, the other bowl gets apricot jam. Fold that in. Now you can add gel color at this point to both of these, but I think for once in the history of this channel, I'm gonna go for the all natural look. Now you can certainly spoon these mixtures into a round mold and let it set up, but I'm gonna go whole hog on this and I got some silicone cheese molds and we're gonna spoon our mixture into these.
after you fill them up, you want to lift your silicone mold and slam it. That way it gets out any air pockets. Now, filling them up is only half the battle. We're going to do something else to these. Usually with icebox cakes like this that's set up in the fridge, you put in some kind of hard cookie or a cracker in the middle to help them set up. I'm going to use jam cookies, and would you believe it, these are actually apricot and raspberry flavored jam cookies. But they're a little bit big for the molds that I got, so I'm going to slice them in half and then slice them in half again. So, quarters. All right. So the trick is to kind of sink them into the icebox cake, but you don't want them touching the bottom. I think a mold this size should take about three quarters of a cookie. Get it in there. And then kind of spread the mixture over the cookie to hide it best you can, but this part's going to be on the bottom, so it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, cover this in plastic, and then we're going to put it in the fridge for at least eight hours, though overnight would be even better because it'll help it set up nice and stiff. All right, so my mouse treats have set up in the fridge. Just gonna tap on them. And they're pretty thick. Um, if you put these in a round mold, instead of what I did in a cheese mold, uh, you should be able to slice and serve after you get it out of the pan, um, especially if it's a springform pan. But if you don't want to wreck any of the style uh, that your silicone pan uh, put into your molds, put this into the freezer for about half an hour and you can start checking it to see if it stiffens around the outside so that we can depan these easily. So I'm going to move these to the freezer for, for half an hour. Once you depan them, you can start arranging them on a plate. When it comes time to serve, arrange your slices on a plate and top it with a delicious cherry. Nice. Look at this pretty dessert. And you didn't even have to bake it. Mouse treat is yummy. If you like that, check out this Meat Topia Grub playlist. There's plenty here to enjoy. Also, be sure to like comment, and subscribe for more so you never miss a video. See you next time. Bye!